Welcome to the first part of our lesson on Java's supported programming paradigms. In this part of the lesson, we give an overview of two common programming paradigms, the imperative and declarative paradigms. A programming paradigm is essentially a way of classifying programming languages based on their features. Clearly, there's lots more to discuss about these paradigms that we'll have time to cover in this lesson. Therefore, we'll just give an overview and provide links to more information where you can learn more about these languages and the way these paradigms work. Two programming paradigms are particularly popular in practice. The imperative paradigm allows programmers to instruct a computer how to change its state. Within the imperative paradigm, there are several categories of languages. One category are the so-called procedural languages, where procedures or subroutines contain a series of computational steps to be performed. Examples of procedural languages include C and Fortran. Another category of languages within the imperative paradigm are object-oriented languages, which organize software design and programming around data, classes, and objects, rather than procedures. Popular examples of object-oriented languages, of course, include C++, C Sharp, and Classic Java. Classic Java are the versions of Java between Java 1, which was released around 1995, and Java 7, which was released around 2010. There's also the declarative paradigm, which is a model where programmers declare properties of desired results, but don't specifically indicate how to program them. One category of languages within the declarative paradigm are logic programming languages, where program statements express facts and rules about problems within a system of formal logic. An example of a logic programming language is Prolog. And then, of course, there are the category of languages known as functional languages, where programs are constructed by applying and composing functions. Examples of so-called pure functional programming languages include ML and Haskell. And we'll also see, of course, that modern Java has elements of functional programming as well. Modern Java are versions of Java starting with Java 8, which was released in 2014, up to the present day. In fact, modern Java should be considered a hybrid language that combines elements of both the object-oriented and functional paradigms. And you'll get a chance to learn lots and lots about that as we go through more of the material in this lesson and throughout these courses. So that's the end of the overview of Java's supported programming paradigms. We'll now go into more detail on imperative and declarative elements of Java.